reason I brought out, you know, the percentage of people, uh, faculty, VLI, can do multimedia instruction uh, is fairly low. I mean, I'm glad to hear that most of them can do it actually as graduate from our program. That, that's an interesting comment. So our next project is to solve precisely that problem. Many younger generation they'll learn so much better with multimedia, with video. But our faculty, including faculty members in CSUMB and faculty members in DLI, they have a lot of challenge uh, using the latest software to produce video. So this project is to teach the faculty members in Defense Language Institute how to use the basic video editing software so they can produce not at the level of your link, of course, but some interesting video for their instruction. And hopefully we can help the students in DLI to be more effective at passing their dreadful uh, the, the DLPT, is that right? Yes. 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 So help me welcome <coughs> Tamara Misia. My name is Tamer Misaya and uh, I'm working in the Defense Language Institute as an um, Arabic instructor since uh, three years now. And uh, since I came to the DLI, we are really facing a huge problem. It's called the Final Exam DLT5. And that's what my project is based on. Uh, the problem that we are facing is the Defense Language Institute is currently raising the bar on the students in the final exam. They are required to achieve 2 plus 2 plus 2. And what 2 plus 2 plus 2 really means is um, the DLT5 scoring system is broken down into three main parts, listening, reading, and speaking. In this case, 2 plus 2 plus 2 would represent a student who functions on an almost native level in both listening and reading and as fluent uh, speaker of the target language, which constitute a huge problem, especially that we are teaching Arabic only in 63 weeks. Uh, the Arabic uh, language is already categorized among the most difficult four languages. Uh, on top of that, the listening skill, which is why I'm doing my project, uh, the listening skill is the most complicated skills among all the skills. DLI has been running a lot of researches regarding this deterioration in the DLT5 uh, exams, and they came out with a lot of issues uh, for the deteriorating results. The first one is students were not exposed enough to authentic material, especially in, in semester one and semester two. Uh, teachers' inability to implement technology, which re uh, reflects negatively on the students inside the classroom and leads them to this result at the very end. Uh, most of the uh, offered authentic material do not have question or tasks or activity, just plain listening and students have to come up with what they have been listening to. Uh, authentic material are not updated in a way to train students on recent topics which steer them away from the final exam as well. Uh, Teachers don't have ability to edit the authentic material the way you want to prepare the students also for the final exam. Uh, authentic material are not presented often enough in the homework uh, to prepare students for that final exam. The challenges that we are currently facing as well in the DLI is the teacher ineffective implementation of technology that obstructs the learning process. Uh, Teacher lack the desire to deal with technology in general, and that's because they cannot handle it inside the classroom or outside the classroom. A teacher's tendency to use old-fashioned technique for teaching, which is basically books, and if they have any listening message, it's just plain listening without any tasks or activity. Uh, teacher are also satisfied with the existing material in addition to their poor ability to produce the judging authentic material. Solution for this problem, uh, which, which is uh, my training module that bridged the gap between the teacher's technological incompetence and the DLI final objective. Uh, the training module will solve the problem in 
an easy and efficient way. Uh, the training module are uh, a synchronous training uh, session that leads the learner to grasp the technological content easily without having to go anywhere to have training for three, four days. Uh, the training module consists of four parts, import, edit, save, and record using Windows Movie Maker. Uh, module 1 is about how to import a video or an audio file from the desktop or your computer and then bring it to the uh, Windows Movie Maker and getting familiar with the functions of Windows Movie Maker. The second module, uh, which 